is Amy, back to do another painting tutorial on glass. I'm going to do another painting tutorial on this little uh, glass dome serving plate. And again, just painting on the dome itself. So we'll set that aside. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a marigold uh, spray of flowers. And once again, I'm back to be using the flat brushes. I have number 12, I believe the 10 and the 8 again. Well, maybe they're all number 12s except for one, one 10. And then I have a Westonia fine line brush, which is a fingernail brush. The colors I'm using today are fresh foliage. All my paints are folk arts, thicket and engine red then the moon yellow I was going to say mellow yellow but that's not right moon yellow alright so this is very easy design to paint I am going to go ahead and start with painting the flower buds or flower buds the flower petals of the marigolds and I'm using the wick or the thicket, or no, I'm sorry, goodness, excuse me, where my mind's at, the engine red and the moon yellow, double loading my brush, and I'm going to start with the bigger blossom, and I'm going to try not to make it so big because I want to be able just to paint on the front part of this, this glass. So I'm basically just doing kind of a, a real easy little petal that's just got a little bit of wave to it and you pull it and you're just going to go around and kind of like a circle to make the open this will be the open bud open flower and then just keep doing it and turning now if you wanted it to be more of an orangey look you could use orange I'm using this color combination I like it together so and the glass is coming out to look a little different than it did on paint when I did my little sample. But it, it's still, you get the gist of it. Like I said, you can do either color, the, the engine red, or go to an orange if you prefer that. But you're basically just going to do, a, do the single row, and then come back around, and start... Let's see. It doesn't really matter where you start. You can just keep keep going with it. Maybe I'll start at the top. Let's do that. And I'm going to try to make my next row in between the two, like in between the two petals behind it. It kind of helps to cover up the lines that you would see typically. On the petals below, but sometimes with the with the smaller section on top, it doesn't have as much room, so you might not be able to completely do that around each, you know, for each two petals. Just keep doing it. I'm just on my main open bud. I am just going to do three layers. If you want to add in more, you can, but I'm just going to do the three. All right, then you you could, I'm just going to stick with the same brush, but you could switch to a smaller brush since the center obviously is smaller. But I'm just going to stick with this one. Just try to touch a little bit lighter. Not spread it out quite as much. There we go with that one. The next one I'm going to do is just kind of skip over here to more of a, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's going to be partially open, but it's kind of a side view. So I'm going to do my, keep my 
petals a little bit thinner and sharper looking. I don't know if that makes sense to you because they're not as wide as what, I'm, what I started out with. Just kind of do that, pull back in. Then I'm going to move over to the next side and do more of a closed looking bud. And it's got more of the, the wider petals to it. They're not as, as sharply done, I guess is what I first did. feel more connected here. Go back over them a little bit. Make them a little bit thicker painting wise. All right. So then I'm going to go back over to this next, or the first one I did, not next one, but the first one that I did. I'm going to put in, oops, I did that backwards. Do the grains that I loaded. I'm loading them backwards. Awesome. And I'm just going to do kind of a U shape for the the actual bottom part of the flower where it connects to the stem. But I don't like the glass showing through here. Tap in a little bit of the of the fresh foliage. Get a little bit thicker, that's why. Like I said, I'm kind of freaky about the, the coverage of the paint. Definitely has to be thicker so that it doesn't chip. Alright, now you could do that over here, but I think I'm going to wait till I put the next layer in. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, so I'm going to go off here to the side. Hopefully you can see it. And I didn't mention this. I'm sure you can see, but I am a left-handed painter. So if I'm doing a direction that you're not comfortable with, you may need to switch it and go the opposite direction of how I'm creating a petal. If I go from the right to the left, you might have to go left to the right when you're starting your petals. Just for the for the creation of of them because that might be a, a direction that's more comfortable for you with depending on the hand that you paint with or write with whatever whatever you're doing all right so let's go back then to this one that I left just painted the green and I'm going to continue on around with the first layer it's going to be a little bit different and with this part I'm you might choose to give it some drying time because I am guaranteeing that I'm going to be picking up some green. I'm going to try to tap on it lately to not pick up too much, but I can tell you that I will be picking up green. It's just inevitable because the green's still pretty wet underneath. So that's why I say if you want to give it some drying time, you could. this is the time to do it. Let it dry a little bit before you hit over it and then you won't be as apt to pull up the green from underneath. To me, I don't really, it didn't bother me, so I'm going to keep going with it. But then I'm going to go over and add another layer to this flower. And I'm not going to do a layer full around it on the top part. Because again, this is going to be just the illusion of a side view of it. It's not actually a uh, full on, dead on view of it. I got a little bit of, you can see the green in here. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do, I'm not on this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and start over here. This one will not have any of this. 
and you'll see what I'm talking about here. I'm going to start doing the center. Right now, first I'm dabbing in some of the Moon Yellow to the center. And you can maybe even add some brown or white to this. I'm just going to stick with doing the yellow and the greens. And this is kind of a, a difficult design, I would say, for the for what I'm putting it on. And the mere fact is it's got different kind of leaves to it. So that's the reason I'm stating that. Alright, so it's basically green and yellow. And then I'm going to come in here with a little bit more yellow just to tap in. I'm not going to overwork it. Try not to overwork it. Because it's fine as long as you can see it. It's fine. Again, you, it might have stood out more if I threw a little bit of white in it. But I'm not going to do that right now. Now on this one, because I want it to be more of a side view. Side view of an open bud. I'm going to put the center like this right here because I did not add a second layer. The second layer is going this direction towards me, if you can tell that. So I'm just going to tap in. Something like that. This is where I say you could maybe throw in some white just to give them more, them more co contrast, but you don't have to. Alright, so I'm going to leave that at that. And then as far as... Oh, shoot. Whoop. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. Uh, it never fails, right? I'm just going to touch this one up just a smidge here. Sorry about that. That's what not to do. I'm good at that. Hopefully I didn't, uh, I kind of did mess that one up a little bit. Dag nabbit. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's the clumsy painter. That's good enough. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to keep going on. Okay, so with this design, the reason why it's probably not the best design to do on this, although, you know, it's okay, it's the fact that the kind of the leaves and such that would be painted on here are not my typical leaves that you would see me paint. Alright, let's go ahead and put a bud in the bottom of this one. I try not to make it too big. It's just kind of a U shape, but again, I want to try to tap it in so that it's full and not tap it in here. I was worried about it not being thick enough. Alright, then I'm going to take, this is where I'm going to take the 10, the size 10 brush, and then I'm just going to pull in these little pieces here. Hooking it to, so be hooking it to this part so it hooks to the stem. And then you can draw, you know, just a little light line like that. Now, again, the reason why I say that this design is kind of odd. Now, what I'll probably do for it is go ahead and do, maybe I'll run one up like this and just do my typical leaves that I would do just for the fact, but basically what kind of leaves are on this. It has more of a draw line, paint a line, 
and just do flowers that you pull from the stem and throughout it like that and just keep pulling them not necessarily any any leaves that come from the actual stem that the flower is on but I'm just going to do it for the purpose of this design and then let me add a few more here Again, some of these are not as opaque as I'd like them to be so I would definitely be concerned with that Now I'm just going to paint the leaves on here like that. A little one maybe go in that direction. And then what I can do, like I said, my typical leaf, like I like to paint my wiggly leaves because of of the setting this is painted on, or the product, the item, is just do some regular leaves around it. Just to make it fit in. And I'm just wiggling it and pulling, pulling over here to go down. Fix this one up again. I could even add some out here just to kind of make it make sense. Make it a little bit smaller. Like I said, on some of this, the paint just doesn't want us, it's not that it's not sticking, it just wants to be transparent, and I don't like that. I don't like that look. And that's one thing neat with, with glass painting is that if you don't like how it looks, you can go over it, you can wash it off, whatever you want to do to make it make yourself happy with the design. And just pull it through there. See that cleared off all the paint. Just awesome. Not really. All right, and then I'm going to go over here and do some more. So I get crazy with the with the leaves. I'm just I love leaves. So if you're not a big leaf person, and you're more minimalistic, then go for that. Again, my my designs are definitely just to give you an idea, show you maybe how to do something, design wise, and take it from there. Something I read recently said, you know, learn how to use what you see and you practice, but then create it, create your own, your own design from it. I mean, I personally don't care if you use the designs that I'm teaching, but that one didn't work out very well. Poop doos. Okay, I'm just going to leave that at that. You get the gist. You get the gist, right? The brush is getting full of paint, so I thought it was crisp. Alright, I'm almost done. If you like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And here is the painted design. If I can show it to you without dropping it, we'll be in good shape. Very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. All right. Well, again, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Then 
when the video is done, share the video to your friends and family via your social network. There's a bottom below the video. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much again, and until the next time, have a good one.